This is Officer Kellogg. This is where he works. This is lunchtime at Arvada High School. All right, well, lunch in about five, so, okay? As the school resource officer, he doesn't just patrol the campus, he works to solve problems in and around the school community. You got, you got food, you got, you're going to eat first and then go? Or The Arvada High School and Jefferson County for the most part have open campuses in their high schools. I and mean, so one of the things we were having was, we were having issues with was the, the sophomores and above heading out and just spending time at the various businesses in the area, spending time on the streets, uh, blocking traffic, just, you know, general safety hazards. Um, we had, you know, 800 to 1,000 kids just flowing out of the building and into you know, into our, our community here. In February of last year, put together a scheduling committee mediated by one of our teachers who just did a phenomenal job with this. And we put together a new schedule where three days out of the five class days a week, we have split lunch where they, you know, we have half the students coming out uh, Monday, Tuesday, Friday, and then they're back in, and then the other half come out and, and ex experience that. And then on Wednesdays and Thursdays, we have uh, the traditional you know, the traditional lunch where everybody steps out of the building. However, we cut the time frame down to, um, well, today will be a 40 minutes, and then uh, uh, on Wednesdays it's 30 minutes. So, um, and it seems to be working very well. I think the kids are responding very well to it. Yeah. Lunchtime is not break time for Officer Kellogg or any of the Arvada Police Department's school resource officers. What, you guys don't have any, you guys got a fifth period? Who has a fifth period? Huh? No, it's fourth right now, but you guys have a fifth? You guys heading back in afterwards, though? So? Yeah. Okay. I like, I'm glad that you're going back to the hairstyle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I hear you, man. Are you guys going to the game tonight? Yeah. Yeah? All right. Well, you got any special players that you root for or no? Just root for the team in general? Oh, that's cool. Of course, one of the challenges with the location of Arvada High School is the fact that a lot of these businesses are on the other side of 121, which I, I worry so much about our kids crossing, but they seem to do pretty well coming through, or coming across on the cross box. And we have some of our kids that will um, sprint across the street, you know, playing with fire, I think. But uh, for the most part, they're, they're pretty respectful and recognize the dangers that exist. I just love doing it. I, you know, I get to spend time with the kids and hopefully, you know, I, I make this a safer and happier place for them to be. 